Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Being from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah If a person is blessed with that guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that protection from all the other madhabs and all the innovation and all the deviance in their creed, in their methodology, then by being sahib sunnah, this is really a ni'mah and a salvation from your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If tarakatil yahud alayhti wa sab'in farqa, if tarakatil nasara alayhtinatayn wa sab'in farqa, wa sataftariku hadhi umala thalatha wa sab'in farqa, kullaha fin nar ila wahida. Kulna min hiya ya Rasulullah. Kala min kana ala mithi ma kana alayhi wa ashabi al yawm. The Prophet alayhi afdal salatu wa sallam said, The Jews were breaking the 71 sects and the Christians into 72 sects, and my nation into 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. And then they asked, who are they, O Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? He said, those who are upon my sunnah in the way of my sahaba, radiyallahu ta'ala'inu majma'een. Letting us know, and that's why they say firqa tanajia in, in Arabic, they refer to them as the firqa tanajia, as the saved sect. Because the Prophet ﷺ said the others are in the fire, but th those are the ones that are saved. So we strive our best to follow those ulama, those scholars of the sunnah, those scholars that call the Quran and sunnah firmly, rigidly, sternly. I know it, it hurts some of the people, but. If you're not stern and firm in your religion, then you just waver, look like the wind. The wind now, all these trees uh, that I'm witnessing in these leaves, they're just blowing to the left, they're blowing to the right as the wind moves. But Ahl Sunnah is firm. That when the time of fitna and the time of trials comes, they still stay on the Sunnah. They see people who they love, who were on the Sunnah, go astray, and they stay on the Sunnah. They see people who were deviant, come to the sunnah, and they stay firm upon the sunnah of the Prophet alayhi afdal salatu wasalam. They don't change their minhaj. This is the point I'm making. So the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam is a salvation. And to be from Ahl sunnati wal jama'ah is salvation. So adhere to those students of knowledge. If you're in a place where there's only students of knowledge, adhere to them and be close to them as long as they are sahib sunnah. And if you're in a place where there are no students of knowledge and there's no one really there, then do your best to read as much as you can and listen to, to those people who are on the sunnah as much as you can. And if you're in a place, of course, where the ulama are, where the scholars are, and you have the ability to take from them, then that's where you stick to, and especially the major scholars. That will help you be safe in your religion and in your honor and help you to be sahib al-sunnah. Listen to this athar of one of the salaf, of what he said about about the, the salvation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala offered him. وَقَالَ Yusuf ibn Isbat, Asbat, rahimahullah ta'ala, كَانَ أَبِي قَدَرِيًا وَأَخْوَالِي رُوَافِذ فَأَنْقَذَنِي اللَّهُ بِسُفْيَانِ In this narration of one of our salaf, Yusuf ibn Yusuf ibn Asbat, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, he said, my father was uh, Qadri, meaning that he had uh, uh, an innovated understanding of the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was deviant in this. His father was a deviant. His father was from Ahl Bid'ah. Wa akhwali ruafid, and my uncles were uh, Rafa the Shia. They were Shia. They, you know, um, didn't accept the Khalifat of Abu Bakr and Umar and cursed them and maybe made takfir of them. And Uthman, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. And he said, and Allah saved me with Sufyan, meaning Sufyan al So he lived 
possibly in the time of the Tabi'in, Tabi'in, or Itba'a Tabi'in. So this is the first three generations. These are those people, the righteous, the, the, the Salaf of this Ummah, the pious predecessors that the Prophet Sallallahu spoke about when he said, Khayr nas qarni thumma ladhina yulunuhum thumma ladhina yulunuhum. The Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam said, the best people is, is, is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who come after them. So, our Salaf, even, sometimes they even had family members that were on deviance, but they f- they found salvation and not just following what their fathers were upon, not following what their uncles and their grandfathers were upon, but following the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and what Ahl Sunnah were upon, the Salaf, uh, the Salaf of this Ummah, the pious predecessors, and that they adhered to the Quran and the Sunnah and the understanding of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in, and may Allah save us from the hellfire and save us from deviance and save us from bid'ah and from calling to bid'ah and being a part of bid'ah, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with the class with the battle of sunnah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam